Um, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to use Watershed Atlas to complete question 14 for lab 1. So after you log on to connect, go into the lab section. Okay, the link to Watershed Atlas should be under lab 1. I'm clicking to that. It's a government website. So you click go here to launch the BC Watershed Atlas. Notice if you don't have Silverlight installed on your computer, you do have to install that. Shouldn't take um, that long. Okay, you load up the map. And any moment now. Okay, so after you launch the app, it should look something like this. You locate the watershed by using uh, the lat long given the question. So you should be able to um, recognize the smaller lake and the bigger elongated lake. And here's the outlet. We mark the outlet by giving it, giving it a dot here. Okay. Coming to this area. Okay. Right now, because there's no Contrail map, so it's not possible to delineate the watershed. So we're going to go here, show layers, okay. scroll down, maybe contours, and turn on the contours map. Okay, to make it load faster, you can just disable roads map and then turn on terrain map. Okay, now the contour maps um, show up. Okay, so. To denier watershed um, on Atlas is almost like um, what, you, what you have been doing on a paper map, but you know digitally. So to measure the area, you go to analysis, and here's a tool called um, area. You click that. So you click each point um, of the watershed boundary. So you start from the outlet. Okay, and then you just follow um, the watershed boundary, like what you what you have done for you know when you delineate the watershed on paper map. So I'm just doing it really quickly by using a couple points. Um, when you are doing this, you should be much more precise and use a lot more points to do this. I'm doing it very roughly. So at the end, you double click to finish the measurement. The area of the watershed is showing in the center, um, but right now it's in square meter, so we're going to change it to uh, square kilometer. Okay, now it gives you the area of the watershed. Notice uh, you do have to do it with a lot more points to make it more precise. And um, this water, this app has a lot more other functions and you know a lot of layers and other things um, feel free to explore this app and give it a try you might find it useful in the future thank you